Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of Badass Direct Sales Mastery. I'm your host, your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger, helping you whip your business into shape. And today I have with me God, I know I say this with like so many people, but I am really, truly excited to have Bridget Barr here because Bridget and I met through my very first summit and she has been participating. She's been to all three summits now. She watches, she participates and she brings her team and gets them involved. And so I was like, girl, you are killing it. We got to get you on the show. And so let me tell you more about Bridget, because just in case you haven't been going to the summit, so you don't know who Bridget is, I'm going to tell you all about her. She is rocking and rolling in Cove Creek. She's been in the direct sales industry for over five years now, and she is a badass goddess among women who have yet to learn their true purpose. She loves to lead people to the finish line, and she is supportive beyond measure and giving is her love language sometimes to a fault but she's not gonna change who she is for anyone being authentically herself means that she can show up for anyone who is ready to learn drive and become the goddess that they were meant to be oh my gosh welcome to the show bridget hey thank you oh my gosh i am super ecstatic that you are here because you and i connected over a year ago at my first summit we've been following each other cheering each other on from the sidelines on social media we've had occasional chats here and there and you've just been taking this new business with cove creek like to the top it's been such an exciting thing to watch you do But let's jump back to the beginning. How'd you get into direct sales? What was your journey into the business? So I dipped my toe years ago. And I guess for me, it's, I am kind of frugal. Well, actually, I'm really frugal. I like to save money. So if you're going to buy products and you know, and I love to shop, you know, My husband's not a big fan of that part of it, but I would rather save money and then be able to share that value with other people. Um, Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's a detriment to me because I'm like, just, you know, just do it, get the discount. It's no big deal. And I forget that I, you know, I'm I'm actually trying to build a business and make money. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but here's the thing. It's, it's like my mentor, Scott Conway says, you're looking out for the other person, right? You want to help yeah. them save money, get access to these amazing products and, and not have it be something that kills their budget. Right. And so, you know, you're looking out for the other person and, and that intention shines through. Yeah. So <laughs> Us moms, I mean, we're very much like the military. I'm, I'm military, but we, you know, the military does so much with so little. And I feel like so many moms are the same way. Like we can stretch a budget and I feel like having good products in front of your family is huge. And it's even more so now with Cove Creek than it was, you know, a while ago, but I've always been one I've never liked medications. I've never liked the highly toxic stuff. It's just been something that I've always stayed away from. So Cove Creek was a huge segue into my clean living journey. So I did Color Street for four years and I really liked their level of taking out the, you know, the, the salon status. So you didn't have to, you know, go through all of that. So it was definitely a healthier option for nail polish. <laughs> so, you know, kind of that was my start, I guess, more more so than Cove Creek. And then Cove Creek just catapulted me further into the clean ingredients, clean living side of where I am now. 
And it's something that obviously is aligned with your core values. And that's why it's really, really helped launch your business because when you've got that alignment, and I know I've talked about this before on previous episodes, especially if you go back and listen to my episode with Carrie Rippey about being aligned in values with the company that you're with and how important it is and what a difference it makes in your business. I mean, you're already seeing a huge difference compared to what you were doing with your previous company with what you're doing now. And so, you know, the fact that you've been doing this for five plus years, it hasn't all been rainbows and roses <laughs> and unicorns and fabulosity. There have been ups and downs. What's an obstacle that you've dealt with in your business that you are really proud that you and your team or you yourself or you and your team overcame, you know, during these past five years? Um, so being new to direct sales, my number one thing is having a leader, a strong leader. If you are new to direct sales and you really love the products, take your time and find a leader in that brand that is going to not just focus on their goals and making sure that you're meeting quotas or whatever, but that they really care about you and, and where your journey is going. That it's, yes, we all want to make money at the end of the day. And I get that. But caring about people is part of that. And you have some people in this business who they are in it for themselves. And, and you'll know that front. And it kind of makes the journey for people harder. Um, and it, it maybe turns some people off. But when you find your tribe, as a majority of us like to say, something just clicks. and you you can when you're led by a strong leader who truly cares about you to your core you know that and and you will be willing to climb mount everest with them like side by side and i tell my team currently and i've told my previous team i will cheer you on if you pass me it is not going to bother me if you find that thing and you just go and you bypass me and you're at the very top I will be your number one cheerleader. And I think so many leaders in this industry lose sight of that. And, you know, I truly believe that there is room for everybody at the top. I am truly one of those people who truly, truly, truly thinks there is room for every one of us women and men, if this is what they choose to do at the top. There's no reason to be hateful and, and catty. And I am very blessed that I have avoided a majority of that. So, yeah, no, absolutely. And it's really interesting to me because when a lot of people think of getting to the top of like the corporate ladder, right? The corporate ladder gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it's a tippy point, right? Like you are the CEO or you aren't, right? Whereas with direct sales, it does not get smaller, right? There, companies would love it if every one of their consultants got to the tippy top. Like the companies are not going to try and hold you back at all. Nope. They want everyone at the top. Yeah, ab absolutely. And there's room at the top. Mm -hmm. And any leader who is not encouraging that in their people is not being a great leader because you want your people to want the brass ring. Like, Grab it, shake it, take it. And, you know, I hope that I'm there before you get there. But if I'm not, that's okay. I'm on my way. And it's, it is what it is. Like we all have moments in our life where you, and, and I think you have to believe in yourself to yes. also achieve that. Um, yeah. I feel like I have an intuitive healer who has been a huge part of my journey. And she was part of a study and it was like, 79% of women have self-doubt and have like, it blew my mind that 79% of women have that self-doubt that aren't like, I've got this, I'm massive, I'm going to reach the top and like do it. <laughs> and like, I yeah. get why now we are like building these tribes means so much. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, to to put an exclamation point on what you just said. I mean, I literally just last week was in Phoenix with my coach 
at a retreat and we had men and women in the room. And during that three days, there was somebody there who had a breakthrough on their own self-doubt, self-belief journey. And it's amazing to watch because I remember when that happened for me, you know, and, you know, for me, it was back in April of 2019 when I had this like, yes, I am, I am going to get that right. And so when, when people have that switch, it's amazing. So for you, cause I don't ever get the feeling and correct me if I'm wrong, that you're in that space anymore, right? How did you get to the point that you were able to leave that self-doubt behind and really believe in who you are and who you are as a leader to be able to get where you are in business right now? I wish I had the date down like you do. Like I envy that because it, it's <laughs> it's almost like a, you know, a rebirth, like you're you yeah. know, like a new birthday almost. Um, I, like when you said that, I was like, wow, I wish I had that in my head. <laughs> For me, it's it was probably several years ago, but things are just different. Things feel different. You look at everything different and you have to find the positive out of any situation that you're put in. And I yeah. truly believe that's part of the whole process. But at the end of the day, it was, I don't care what other people think. I know who I am and I love that person. And I know in my core that I am good, I have value and that I can help people to, to see that and I can, I can build a team around that. Mm. So, and that's what I've done, so. That is incredibly powerful because when you can know that you're coming from that place of wanting to help others and you have that true intention, the people you're talking to, whether it's as a customer or potential team member, they're sensing that they're, they're going to know that, you know, they're going to get that because our brain picks up on all of those things without us even knowing it. That's, that's why we have these like gut intuition feelings, or I don't know why I don't trust that person, but I just don't. It's because your brain is picking up on things that, you know, micro facial expressions, pitch and tone of voice, body language that tells us mm, not trustworthy. But when you are coming from that place of, I believe in myself, I believe that what I have is a value and I want the best for you. So like my Ohana mentor, Scott Conway has taught, you know, true love is I love you. What love is, is I want the best for you. I want to be the best for you. And I want you to have transcendent joy. And that's the place you're coming from. And that's why you're attracting a team. That's why you're attracting customers so easily now compared to probably when you first started with your first business, because you have probably stepped even more into it now that you're in a better alignment with the company that you're with now, don't you think? I Absolutely. And the one thing I think in my aha moment was I am not selling. I am here to solve a problem for whoever is willing to listen. Um, so for me, the clean living journey was, you know, I lost my mom in 2019 and I went through, oh, I mean, it was, I'm probably really close to the 2019 mark, uh, like you were, but I just don't have the specific date, but yeah. it put me on a path and it has led me to where I am. And one day you just wake up and you feel it. And then you're like, okay, I can do this. And I, my team, <laughs> There are days where I, my team is like, I need five minutes and I'm like, okay, I have five minutes. And, you know, I talk them off the ledge, we mm -hmm. come down off the ledge together and we're at the bottom and they're like, okay, I feel great. So, yeah. That I think is great. If for anybody who's listening right now, one of my favorite episodes when it comes to a leader leading their team to talk them off the edge is an episode with Andrea Burnett. She was one of my very first episodes and cause she, she's been in direct sales at this point. Now she's been in for over 10 years. She's a huge leader in the company that she's with. And so of course she regularly gets phone calls from people going, I think I'm, I think I'm going to quit, you know? And she's like, okay, before you do that, <laughs> Here's your assignment. Go draw yourself a bath, pour a glass of wine, call me in the morning and we'll talk. We're not talking until you 
take a bath and drink a glass of wine. <laughs> and I'm like, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. And especially now with your company, you can be like, all right, honey, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go grab that bath bomb. <laughs> I, well, bath bombs are coming out. We have the tub tea right now. And oh, I, there you go. <laughs> so full disclosure, I, I'm a shower gal. Like I, I prefer a shower. And I've learned quite a few things doing clean ingredients and clean living. So we have these tub teas and it's a tea bag. <laughs> and you just throw it in your tub and you don't have any cleanup. And Ooh. you get out and your skin feels amazing. You're so relaxed. The smell is just transcending. And I was like, why have I not been taking baths? I know, right? See, there you go. Advice from Andrea Burnett. Go take a bath. <laughs> grab a glass of wine. Call me in the morning. At, I'm going to have to listen to that episode. Oh, my gosh. Because it, it's so right. Because we all have our ups and downs in the business. Like I said, it's not all rainbows and roses all the time, despite what we put out on Facebook and Instagram yeah. and TikTok and all the things, yes. right? We We have shitty times. But the thing is, is that when you are having that down day, you cannot make decisions about your business when you're feeling your worst because that's that's a guaranteed recipe for regret because that's when you go well what if what if you know and the only way you can fail in this industry is to quit the industry that's the only way to fail it right a company may not be the right company for you but you can certainly go go find one if you're like all right you know, if you're not feeling great, go find a company that feels more aligned. Go find a product that feels more aligned. Go find a leader that feels more aligned. <laughs> if you do not believe in the products, it's a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. And then when you have a leader who's either non-existent or doesn't care, and it really makes a difference. My my leader in Color Street was truly phenomenal. And she is hell on wheels. And she just has, she's one of those people in direct sales that everybody, like she could join a company and be at the top in 24 hours. That's wow. just who she is. Yeah. I am not that person. I wish I had that, but her mojo is beyond normal levels. Yeah. Um, but I have learned so much from her and she's so humble. She's the most humble human being I've ever met in my life. And I can reach out to her and whatever my struggle, she's going to kick my backside and she's going to set me on the path that I should have been on anyway. So I owe a lot of my journey to her and her values. So I, if you have a mentor, reach out and just embrace what they're telling you. It's, it's truly, most of it is, is golden. Yeah, exactly. And you just and can't ignore it when it's given. And one of the things I want to throw out there with that, because something that happens in this industry, unfortunately, all too often, because it's what happened to me, is we sometimes we come in, we get sponsored by somebody, they get successful because of the amount of success that we get, but something happens, they leave, and now you're orphaned. Now you don't necessarily have a connection to your upline leader, you don't have a connection to anybody else, but you're successful enough that you're not going to go anywhere so if you don't have somebody, that's what I'm here for, y'all. I'm just saying, I'm going to put that plug out there. If you don't have someone to reach out to, reach out to Jenny. Like, Jenny's amazing. I I went to her summit, and, and it was due to my girlfriend, Mara, whom I absolutely adore. And she invited me. And I was like, uh, okay, I'd never heard of Jenny. And I was like, well, okay. If Mara says she's, you know, on point, then she has to be on point and fell in love, loved the summit. And anyone who has BDSM as their a thing is a girl for me. So <laughs> I was hooked anyway. And she has been a huge, I mean, you've been a huge part of my life ever since. And I, if you would have told me it was only a year, I would have said, there's no way. Like, I yeah. feel like I've known you so much longer. So I know, right? I can't believe that first time it was only a year ago. It's only, yeah, it's, it was March of 2021 was my very first summit. So uh, it's, and we're recording this to me. That yeah. is crazy. 
And we're recording this if at the end of If you have not May. gotten on one of her summits, do not miss the next one. I don't know when it is. I probably should, but do not miss it. I'm telling you, you will not be sorry if you join one of her summits. It is well worth every ounce of time and money. It's fantastic. Thank you. Well, since you put it out there, September of 2022 is my next one. So my plan is to always do them in March and September because that is the lull in the direct sales world because yeah. most company conventions are not happening in March and September. And so no. people are in that you know, in between mode and they need that boost. They need that whatever. So I was like, this is the perfect time to do it because people are needing that boost to get into the for the summer convention. And then for September, now we're getting people boosted for the holiday sales season. Cause that is for almost every company out there, the holiday sales season from October through December are their biggest months. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, if we can get people boosted in September, excited, ready for the holidays and ready to rock their business. And then this is going to be perfect for people. So September, this is, this is why, this is why you do the summit. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. And that's why they're free, right? I want the, po the podcast is free. The summit is free because I never want there to be a barrier of entry for somebody to learn how to be better, right? That is what that's all about. There's got to be that way in. And I think, you know, what the great thing is, is with what you guys are doing in the world of direct sales, who those who are out there still building and growing businesses like this, is you're able to offer a lot of the same stuff. You're, you're saying, hey, I have this amazing opportunity. I have this amazing product and you're able to get people in at these amazing prices that if you were to go find that same quality thing at a store would be so much more than what you're paying a direct salesperson because of all of the overhead markup that comes with a store. So when it cracks me up when somebody's like, oh, I don't buy from that company. They're too expensive. And I'm like, oh, honey, if you were to go buy that at the mall, do you know how much more expensive it would be from overhead of brick and mortar, travel, shipping, marketing? The marketing alone would mark up the cost of that skin cream, lotion, makeup, whatever the product is, probably to be 50 to 100% more than it is from the direct sales company. Easily. Exactly. So much higher. Well, People are so used to like the big box stores or the Walmarts or the Amazons. And, you know, when they say, well, I can get it cheaper here. No, you can get a product similar there mm -hmm. for cheaper, but you cannot get my products there. Right. Because if you're buying it in one of those places, 90% of the time, it is not a clean product and okay. you're not actually getting a clean ingredient. So the one, I mean, there's so many attributes to Cove Creek, but it's a small farm that it kind of started with. The owners are actual farmers and oh a God. lot of the recipes came from like passed down from generation. So that was kind of a big win for me. But for me, I'm, I'm a goat gal. Anyone who's on my Facebook knows I love me some goats. I raised them growing up. And when they said they had goat milk products, like I was done. It didn't matter what she said after that. I was, I was tunnel visioned and focused. But their values are in line with mine. And that was a huge thing. And, you know, it's a small batch company. So it's not like you're massive overproduced. And she actually, during the pandemic, so a lot of people had supply chain issues. She had reached out to a supplier for a certain ingredient. And they were like, we're out of that right now. But do like the rest of the companies are doing and just take this this one. It's, it's a lot less quality, but you know, no one's going to know the difference. And she told them I'll know the difference and that's, what's going to always separate us. Mm -hmm. And so she waited and to my detriment, cause it was for one of my favorite products. <laughs> um, and I probably nagged her daily. I'm not going to lie to you. And <laughs> I may or may not have threatened to storm the the location of where the product was actually being made <laughs> to be <laughs> able to get it. And to no avail, she would not give me the address, but she did tell the person because our shampoo and conditioner bars are made off site. Everything else is is made on site. So okay, those two items are made off site. But if you know me, I am I am very much in love with my shampoo bars. 
Yeah, I, I've seen the love on Facebook for sure. Absolutely. So we've talked about the obstacles. What are some of the cool things that you and your team have done now in the two years you've been with Cove Creek so far? We have grown so, we have grown so much, but my thing is we save, we rescue, we donate money to rescuing sea turtles. We actually all adopted sea turtles this past summer and we got to see a few of them return back to the wild after being rehabilitated. So that was pretty cool because four cents of every one of our products goes to sea turtle rescue. So we donate money annually to that, but not just that we're taking the plastics out of the oceans. So Um, our products are made with ocean waste plastic or plastics that would have been headed to the ocean. So it's all recycled and it just fits with our brand, but helping families get a cleaner way of life is huge and not ruining our environment and stuff like that. And I'm by no means uh, totally a tree hugger. I want everyone to know that up front. (laughs) But (laughs) when you get on the clean living path, that's what you start to sound like. And you're just kind of like, oh, but it's different. I don't know how to explain it. It's just wanting better for your family and your friends and customers and whatever. So it's just been a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. But then when you see your customers and they get so excited over clean products that are working, I have Mm -hmm. no use for cleaners, bleaches, any of that. I have one product that will clean my mirrors, my walls, my floors, everything. So I've deleted a lot of that toxic um, stuff. And it's, yeah, it's fun to see everyone else do that as well. I think. Oh my gosh. And and imagine the cleared clutter from not having 17 different cleaning products under your sink, but just having one, one under each. That's amazing. So with all of that, so you guys have, and I've been having so much fun watching you guys adopt the sea turtles and do that. That is so cool because I think it's really important. And I know I've addressed this before on the show with other people. It's important to have a give back component to your business. You know, I, For anybody who's attended my summit, you guys know that my give back is Donate Life America because I am a living kidney donor. To me, healthy whole families matter. So when people choose to coach with me, when they choose to participate in one of my paid workshops, when they choose to do whatever, they can know that a portion of everything that they're paying me is going to Donate Life America to help with the education around that. For you guys, it's the sea turtles. And here's the thing. I have so many people ask me, well, how do you pick? Go with what you're passionate about and people don't really care. You know, they don't really care that it's not their cause. Like I have so many people who don't care about organ transplant the way I do, but they love how passionate I am about it. And so when they hear about organ transplants that are happening, when they hear about fundraising opportunities for that, they're tagging me and I'm going to go, they know I'm going to go donate to an organ transplant situation, you know, because it matters to me. So that give back component is huge in your business. So for you going through with all of this, you've now been in for five plus years, you are a founding elite mentor within your company. What is your secret to direct sales success? Um, Let's see, I would have to say staying humble. And putting others before myself. And I'm, these are not just words that I'm saying. Like, I truly love helping people and I truly love seeing people win and making a difference in other people's lives. And it's funny to me because in direct sales, you get so many people who they join and the first thing they do is they go after their friends and family. Mm Mm-hmm. I tell my people, you do not talk to your friends and family at all about Mm. your business. Because to me, that is where you take direct sales to die. Ah. Your family and your friends are going to be the biggest naysayers in your direct sales journey. They aren't going to be supportive. When you see these videos of these women who are like, you will find your biggest supporters and your squad 
in people you've never met. That is the God's honest truth. Mm -hmm. Um, And your friends and family are going to be watching. Never say a word and they will all follow you. They will all eventually want your products and they will all see it completely different because you didn't go after them. And for me, that's, that's a huge thing for me. And then it making sure people are, you know, even if they don't buy my products, if you're buying something that's not toxic, it's better than nothing. I really believe that our government is not helpful in that department and it's up to us to help each other get through it and cut cancer out and cut kidney diseases and liver diseases. And people don't realize like the toxins in these products do get into your system and they play a role in everything that happens. So clean ingredients is, is a huge thing and I will scream it from the rooftops as loud as I can. So yeah, no, absolutely. So I think that's absolutely brilliant because the number of people who have told me, well, I can't, my sister won't buy my stuff. That's why I'm not successful. No, no. I can tell you right now, I have two sisters, one of whom supported me and had parties and would introduce me to people. The other one would not mm-hmm. buy my product, would not have a party, would not. And yet I still made it to number one without my sister, you know? Yeah, absolutely. But the other sister, it's not because I chased her down. It's because she said, hey, I like your stuff. What can I do to get your stuff? Right. And I think you're absolutely right. By by avoiding your friends and family and going out and building your network, because guys, it's called network marketing for a reason. 50% of your job is to network and grow your network. Amen. It's really hard to be a profit in your own land. You know, and so your friends and family are your own land. So if you're trying to proselytize to them about your product, it's not going to be as effective <laughs> because no. it's it's just Jenny. Like, yeah, you know, it's just you're just Jenny. And what's really interesting is when I when I here in the St. Louis area, I'm I'm Jenny Bellinger. No big deal. Whatever. Out in the rest of the world, everybody's like, oh, my God, Jenny Bellinger. I'm like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you need that. You yes. want that, yeah. that happy, like, I'm just me place, but then it's mm-hmm. okay to be all the yeah. things to everyone else because we love our yeah. Jenny Bellinger. Oh, well, thank you. And we love our Bridget Barr, girlfriend, seriously. But I think you're absolutely right. And for the people who are sitting here now kicking themselves going, oh, my God, I've been talking to my friends and family. It's okay. Stop. Like, stop now. Don't tell them you're not going to stop talking. Just stop talking to them about the product. Stop trying to sell them on it. Stop trying to get them into the business. Because here's what's going to happen. They're all of a sudden, they're going to have that moment of relief. Like, oh, thank God. She's not talking to me about it. Or he's not talking to me about it anymore. Okay, cool. And then they're going to watch you continue to build and grow in other areas, just like Bridget was saying. And then they're going to start going, Wait, so so tell me about that that thing that that shampoo bar again. What how does how does that work? You know? <laughs> you know? Exactly. That's exactly what happens is with network marketing, you know, I it's my team says this and I'm like, "Well, who are you trying to talk to?" And I don't mean sell. Don't try to sell to people. Right. People don't want to be sold to. Mm-mm. People will respond and and for me, like a majority of my customers are on Facebook and I add a few a week. They're strangers to me, but I see a value in who they are. And I will scroll past a lot of people because I don't get a good vibe from their profile. It's fine. And if they don't accept my friend's request, that's okay as, as well. But yeah, all I do, I don't, I'm not spammy Tammy. I don't get crazy. My posts are me sharing what my wins are with the products that I use. Mm -hmm. Um, I never go in and like, here's my link, blah, blah, blah. I post a couple times a week and I will get five new people who are like, can you send me your link? I'm interested. This is neat. What's that? I don't sell to them. It's me sharing what has worked for me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a commercial. You're telling a story. Exactly. Yes. You're telling your story, sharing your results, and people who want those results will reach out. It's 
Absolutely. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. So Bridget, you have been kind enough to offer up some samples because Cove Creek is so new because so many people have not heard of it and don't know anything about it. You have some samples available for those who would like to learn more, try some of your products. So how can they reach out to you to get a couple of samples from you? Um, they can reach me via Facebook Messenger, either on my main profile under Bridget Barr, or they can go to my business page, which is Beauty Bar. So either one works and just send me a request and I will ask a few questions to see what's going to work best for people. I don't just randomly send out stuff. Yeah. Um, I will have to get to know you and maybe see what issues, whether it's, you know, hair, skin, stuff like that to see if our products will work and what issues we solve. So love it and so it's going to be a personalized sample guys that's even better it's not here have this whatever you know here have this random bath tea you know without yeah. knowing what kind of scents you like or whatever you know I, I don't even know if you guys have different scents i need to learn more we about do, your stuff we do. okay i figured you we, probably have did I failed and not sent you a <laughs> no You're no no like your fine. bath taker oh my gosh yes so guys if you want to reach out to bridget Obviously, those of you who have listened to the show, you are my badass crew. You know how to find Bridget's links in the show notes. But if you are brand new and have never listened before, and this is your very first episode and you want to know how to reach out to Bridget, what you're going to do is grab your phone because I'm assuming you're listening through your phone. Grab your phone, click on today's episode as long as you're not driving and scroll up on the episode you'll see there's a whole bunch of information about bridget her business and also the direct links to her facebook and her facebook business page so you can reach out and say hey i heard you on the badass direct sales mastery podcast i would like a sample let's talk and then bridget will connect with you find out what you want find out who you are and we'll make sure that she's sending you a personalized sample set of things that are going to be wonderful just for you. So Bridget, thank you so much for being on the show. So many amazing nuggets of wisdom from this. I love this. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Freaking lootly. This is not gonna be the last time you're gonna be on. It may be the first. It will not be the last time you're on. We're gonna have you on. We're gonna have some more talks. So love it. Guys, you know how this goes, badass crew. You guys are very aware that what's about to happen is another Badass episode is on its way. Hey, Badass Crew, Jenny B here. I want to start by thanking Gina, Matt, Jessica, and Renee for finding me on social media and connecting with me. If you've been listening to the show for a while, find me on your favorite social media platform. Friend request me and send me a message letting me know that you're a member of the Badass Crew. I want to meet you. Trust me. I will fangirl on you so hard because I love you. So go find all of my pertinent social media links right in the show notes. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to BadassDirectSalesMastery.com? Don't make the dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.